excuse me. So we are about to finish in, logging in. As you can see, the percentage is nearly 100. So already we have uh, logged in there, okay? So the first thing which you need to do when you come here, you need to come here under security control. Under security controls, always you need to insert your uh, company data. Your company data, how to do it, you come here, there's a small one here, you select a small one like this, then here, for example, in our company is called Nectar Prime. Uh, oh, sorry, Nectar Prime Accounting Solutions. Okay. And then here, physical address, as we have found on the seventh floor, Findeco uh, House. Deco house. Okay. Uh, room. Room eight. Okay. The town here you put Rusaka. I mean in the town where you are found. Here you put the your T pin number. Your T pin number is very important. You put your T pin number there. Yeah, it's important for VAT for your tax purposes, especially for turnover. Okay, because all your invoices will be also, it means that they'll be drawing the tip in from here. The country you put to Zambia here. Okay, then you simply update there. Okay, your data is now updated. That's all. This part we are done. Since we are done now this part, let's assume that our job, we are maybe in a transport sector or in a media. All you needed to do is, when you need to come here under inventory, okay? Under inventory, although it sounds weird, but there is nothing uh, difficult here. So, uh, if you come here where it says branches, okay? If you look here, I've created the warehouse called the service, services. These services means the account, these accounts or this package will be used for either transportation, media, or a broadcasting or anything. If uh, this package was to be used for manufacturing or wholesale, you put the depot, depot name here or branch name or company name where those things are going to be sold, okay? After putting that, you simply say add, that's all, you are done. Then the next thing, you need to create those services which you need, which you will be selling. Okay, so uh, let's assume that, okay, what we are selling uh, actually uh, uh, transportation per day, maybe what happens in here, maybe if per day I have uh, 10 buses, okay? Now those cashiers, those drivers, they have brought you some money. So what I'll be doing, I will simply say, okay, um, cashings. Cashing Z from drivers. Okay, that's the service which I've created. So with a code there, these are services. So all the cashing Z, I'll be posting it there. So now I'll simply say add. Okay, now maybe I'm in the media industry. I will simply say, okay, fine. Maybe the services which will be, uh, which will be coming, will say, uh, Weddings, okay, weddings, uh, receipts, okay, or whatever it is. Then since I uh, selected 100, uh, uh, zero, zero. so uh, now the next one will be 1001, okay. Now here, I will assign a service. If this was not a service, I will assign it to a depot, whatever it is, or where I will see if it is a stock item, but these are not stock items. There's no reward level required. So I'll simply say add. Okay, then it means that this part we are done. The next thing which we need to do is to put now the prices. How do you put the prices there? Okay. <clears throat> you may agree with the, your, your drivers, for example, your drivers to say, okay, fine. Mm, the cash in the day. Okay, 
each cash in per day, maybe you'll be bringing how much? Um, you may agree to say per day the cash is 500 kwacha. You put your 500 kwacha there, okay? Now, since you are not uh, registered for VAT, as you can see, sorry, as you can see here, if you are registered for VAT, you have all these A class A class B, C1, uh, C2, C3, uh, yeah, and so forth. In your case, you are exempted. That's why you are selecting D here. It means that you, in your case, you fall under turnover uh, tax. So you select that one. So that there is no VAT that will be coming in there as you process it there. Okay. So now, the next thing which you need to do is, yeah, um, I say, okay, here, when you come here, there is what we call sales, uh, the modes. So the modes which you are selecting here, you are not exporting anything. You are not doing any privilege. You, you are not saying to any privileged person to him insurance. So you select the sales mode, sales invoice mode. This is the one which is suitable for you. So here, you select also the date when you have started the, uh, implemented the, the selling price there. So for me, I would say select 1 November 2020 there. That's it. Then it means that I'm able now to generate the invoices. Same applies if you are doing maybe with the waiting receipts. As, as It's the same thing. Here again, you select, uh, for example, D. Yeah, since you are not paying VAT, so you pay only turnover taxes, so there will be no VAT. Let's assume that this function alone is costing maybe 2000 you put your 2000 in there. So here, even if it's asking for VAT, you simply say, okay, yeah. Then here again, you select the sales invoice mode. Then here again, you select the date when you are implementing those prices. Yeah, then you simply add, that's all, you are done. So meaning, now you are ready to generate the invoices. Now, in your case, what happens here, you come under customer data before you start generating the invoices. Under customer data, you do this, okay? What you have agreed, the drivers, they don't bring cash, they don't do those services on credit. Simply enter here, cash sales, because whatever they are going to be bringing every day is cash sales. Whether you are, in, whether you are doing wedding services, those people you'll be, they will be bringing in castles. It ends there. Okay. Then here, province, if you want, you can put Lusaka. There's no problem. If there is a phone number, your phone number, you can put it there. Your address, you can put it there. Country, Zambia. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So, tip in if you want to put the tip in, but there's no need at the moment. We have already put it on the other side there. So, you simply say, add it there. Okay, then exit. Now, let's assume that now, since we have finished now everything, we have created the services, we have put the prices for the services now. Now, let's assume that the drivers have come now. Okay, so since they are in now, what you do is you simply come here and generate an invoice. Okay, let's see what happens here. So when you generate an invoice here, you use a castle here. You can see the castle which we created the other side, it has come automatically here. So here under document type, you select the invoice here, no problem. It's not a tax invoice. In the sales mode, you select the sales invoice mode. Then here, what you do, you select services. Then here, the notes, if you wanted to put anything, you put the name of the driver, let's say, uh, the driver could be Mr. Mwanza. Okay, yeah. This can be a driver or the, the, if you are in, doing some weddings or some other things, you put the name of the customer who is paying you the money. So I'm covering both transport services and the media. Okay, and even these other services. This is the same thing which you are supposed to do. There is no difference whatsoever. Yeah, so here you say tab. Again here under payment method, since these people, you, are, you guys are only concerned with the cash, so select the cash there, okay? Then sales type again, it is cash sales. 
Then once you come here now, you select what, uh, what services you are going to be charging. So remember, we created one for cashings from drivers, the other one for waiting receipts. Now let's start with the, the one for cashings from the drivers. I was simply selecting this one, cashings from drivers. So if there are 10 drivers, okay? Or if I want, you can be doing it in the individual drive. So you say, okay, since there is only one driver, each driver will be given an invoice. So you are going to create, let's say if there are 10, you are going to create 10 invoices for each drive, for, for each of those drivers. If you want to combine, you can create one invoice. There's no problem, but I would prefer you, each person should be given an invoice so that at least you are able to account for it properly. There's no issue. So here, remember here, you are writing the name of the driver here. So it's important that each driver is given an invoice there with the bearing his name there or her name. Because these days you find that even ladies are drivers. So here, under quantity, you simply say one. Okay, so that that, that one, don't worry about this one. Uh, this one is simply tells you to say you are not selling any stocks. You simply say yes, there's no issue there. So that one will multiply automatically by that 500, which we had to put it there. Yeah, then you simply say tab, 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 tab. That's it, you're done. So you say okay there. Then you save your data here. Saving means you are performing a double entry as well so that this entry can go to the trial balance as well. Okay. Once it saves it there, <clears throat> the data disappears. As you can see from the box, there is nothing remaining there. So you simply say, okay. Okay. In this case, we are done. You are not signing anything. Yeah. This is a different thing altogether. So the only thing which you need to do is just to put the date here, which is uh, 1st November. That's when we have created the invoice there up to 1st November there. Then you print, you select the invoice number here and you print your invoice, which you have to hand over to, to give it to the driver if you have a printer there. If you don't have a printer, you can just view it then. It's for your record, there it is. So, <clears throat> as you can see, yeah, the invoice is there. The total amount is how much? 500 but no VAT. It's zero here is even a blank here the percentage so the total here if you check yeah it's uh, actually 500 question remarks driver mr manza there this is the way how you do it so now after doing that as you can see we have a nice invoice here and it has a lot of space where you can write whatever you need to write so now after doing that the only thing which we need is to close here and now post this invoice. If you don't post it, it doesn't go to the trial balance. So we post this, okay, and here you post, okay, yeah. You say, okay, since we have posted that, then it has gone to the trial balance. So now, let's now check it step by step. We are done here, the invoice is posted. So now, the next thing is we close here, okay, after closing here, we need to check now, because that cash sale which we created, it goes into the customer ledger now, that's where it's seated. This is where you people, you need to follow me uh, properly. Follow me properly here, let me repeat, please follow me properly here. You put today's date, a start date, and the end date here. Okay, now customer here, we are choosing Castle. Remember, we are operating these things under Castle. Okay, if it was another customer, you, it, would have, uh, would have, it would have appeared there. But all the same, since all these customers they appear under data control, you just type in the data control appears, and then you enter there. Okay, so allow it to pull out the, the data. Now, uh, people, if you check here, you will see that there is an invoice. It has put the invoice number, the date, and the amount is on the debit side. Okay? Now, what you have created is uh, this uh, ledger. So, meaning this driver, 
needed to pay you cash of 500 kwacha. Now, this guy has paid cash of 500 kwacha, okay? How are we going to remove this one so that it goes to the cash book? No problem, okay? So you close there, then you go to the journal, advanced accounting here, okay? When you come under advanced accounting here, you have uh, create a journal here, okay? Follow me clearly, people, so that you see what I'm talking about. You put the date, which is today's date again, there, okay? You want to clear those so that it goes to the cash book, yeah. Then here, you are saying, um, description, Mr. Mons, hmm. is the person who has given you the money there, okay? Then you reference it, if we, you, you put the invoice number there, if you checked it was 001, okay? Yeah, then here, um, for any currency, you are using Quacha, so it's one to one, so you put one there, okay? Now, here, this is where it matters most. So you select here the cash sale here, okay? So that it clears out from there. There are stuff, we are not doing anything. Supply, we are not doing anything. Yeah, so now here, you select your cash book here because the money has to go to the cash book, okay? Yeah, if you want to put the cost center, which is unnecessary, there's no need. Yeah. So here, how much are we receiving? How much is the cash book receiving? 500 kwacha here. Okay. Then tab. The next thing which you need to do is credit the data as control account because that's where the cash book, the account which is assigned to the cash book is called the data as control account. It will be credited with it. How much? 500 kwacha. Mm -hmm. Then tab, 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 tab. Okay. Yeah, when this message comes, it means that you are now required to save so that the double entry is performed, so save with it, okay? The double entry is now uh, performed. Now, in an event where you have made a mistake, according to, the, it depends, you can still recall that channel here, okay? So that you can amend it. Let's assume that maybe this time around you decided that, uh, I think let me put the cost centers, accounts, here maybe, you may say, uh, okay, sales, all right? Yeah, okay. Then you can simply save it again, no issue, yeah. If you want a calculator, a calculator is here, okay? It will pop up anytime. Yeah, this uh, thing comes from the inbuilt calculator, which is actually coming from your uh, operating system. As you can see, it has come here, but it will bring the, the thing you can see it's a normal calculator like any other calculator which you see. So you can use that calculator, yeah, anyway, yeah. So for calculation, you don't need to worry, okay? I'll close it there, yeah. So now, <clears throat> the next thing is to post that channel which we created. Close here, then you come here and um, advanced again, advanced accounting, post the general journal there, okay, people. Just select the journal there, you can see Mr. Mwanza is appearing there. Then post, select post there and post here. Okay, successful. So you say okay, okay, yeah. Then now, let's check under customer rate and see what has happened here. Okay, let's see, because now it's supposed to be zero. Okay, now let's confirm that whether this is what has happened there. Then from there, we go and check under the cash book and see if we have a, a debit entry there, okay? Yeah. Now, we are queuing this. I want you guys to follow me very well, okay? Have you seen what has happened here? Mr. Monza has brought this cash there. So you see, in and out. What about the balance? There is no balance whatsoever which is remaining here. So our cash is a proper accounted for. He has given us the money. If there is, a, if this guy had a shortage, it means that he, he, let's say if he had given us only 450, it means that we only journal 450. The 50 kwacha will remain where in here. So that next time or end of the month, we we'll say, my friend, look at the shortages which we have been creating. So you need to deduct this from your salary. Okay. That's way how you do it. So it's important that you follow this. Then 
Now let's see how a simple trial balance, how it looks like. So our trial balance actually is found uh, in two. There is a trial branch, trial balance is there. This one looks at the whole year. Now trial branch, trial branch means you want to query for a particular period. Let's say maybe for one day only. Since we have only done a transaction for one day, I'll query that one. Okay, so I'll select today's date. Okay, and the end date the same date so that because I'm only interested for the transaction for today and the preview there. So this one takes a slight a bit of time because it's looking at so many tables there. You are talking of 186 tables which are driving this program here. Then after it has checked there, although what I mean by taking a bit of time within three minutes, it should be able to give us the result. It doesn't go beyond that. Yeah, you should be able to see how the entries are showing there. Because from the trial balance, what I expected to see there is to see a credit under revenue and a debit under the cash book, remember? So there should be 500 on the credit side and another 500 on the cash book. So now people, if you check here, you see the cash book is showing a cash of 500 and the revenue how much? Um, 500 quarts. This is how simple it is. So this 500 quarter means you can now start now expensing it the way you want it. Okay. So whatever, whether you are doing weddings, whatever, whatever, it will be accumulated like that. And the method of accounting is the same. As long as those are services, it's the same. It doesn't change. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. So now, when you check here, the total is showing that it's balancing. There's no difference here. Okay. So our total balance is clean. Okay. It's showing the name which we updated there. So once you update your name, your company name, it will be showing there. So we are okay. There is nothing wrong there. Okay. So now, what happens when, uh, let's say, I wanted to, from that 500, I wanted to pay for stationery, okay? You go under the same um, uh, credit, uh, uh, credit journal there, universe. So let's say today, it's there today, okay? Now here you will stay stationary. You just hope that I've got an account called stationary. If it's not there, you can easily create it. Okay. Then here I will say um, mm, expense. Okay, whatever it is, you can put the correct notation. Remember what I said there is one to one. This is quacha. Okay. Now here, since these are expenses. Only you are not going to select anything, you are not removing anything from the staff, you are not debiting the staff, you are not crediting the customer, you are not debiting the supplier, neither crediting. So you say tap, tap, tap. Okay, when you come here, that's when now you can now um, choose stationary. You just type in here, okay, stationary. You can see it has come there by just typing in, yeah. So here, if you want the cost center, you can put the cost center. So let's say maybe the cost of the paper, which I want to use is for 45 kwacha. Okay. I deputy stationary 45 kwacha and the credit my cash book. What's the, this is cash items. So I'll credit my cash book with 45 kwacha. Okay. Then, yeah, there I will save, save there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. So now I need to post that channel. If I don't post that, it means that the nothing has happened. The journal is still hanging uh, in balance. It has never, it has not yet gone to the trial balance. So I'll post it here so that it goes to update the trial balance there and also my simple income statement. So now I will say post it here. Okay. Okay. Fine people. This is the way how it is. Yeah. Cross. Now, if we check the cash book now, let's see what has happened to the cash book. 
Okay, I'll come here under advanced and click my cash book there. I want to see how my cash book is looking. So I'll select there, okay, because I'm interested to see how my cash book is showing now. So I'll say cash book here, okay. <clears throat> we wait a little bit so that we see what has happened. Uh -huh. Have you seen? My 45 kwacha is credited there. So now my cash book balance is e, how much? E? 455. How simple this thing is. This is one of the simplest accounting package which you maybe you people may not have actually realized. Yeah, it will help you to improve your business. This is the simplest whatsoever. Yeah. So in this case, we have accounted for our expense properly there. Okay. Now, let's see how our income statement is building up. Okay, so to see our super income statement, you come under advanced then income statement there. You need an income statement so that you are able to see where you are going. So again, I would credit for the day here. Again, here, yeah, like that. Okay, <clears throat> then you preview here. Once I preview there, I should be able to see uh, the income statement is supposed to calculate for me the actual profit. Let's, say, let's assume that, okay, in a month, the only expense which I have is stationary. And the, the only revenue which I have was for 500 quarts. Then I should see a profit of 455, 455 quarts. Okay, so that way I'm able to know to say, oh yeah, everything is going, going well, yeah. So that's way how you do it. Then, I'll show you something again, yeah, from here, once we see our income statement, how it looks like, things like that, then we see, we move on, okay? Now, mm -hmm. have you seen here, people? Because there are no cost of sales there, so which means that the revenue there still goes as in, gross profit. The only expense which I have is 45, it comes here. So now it has subtracted this from there. What do I have? I have a net profit of 455. That's all. So my income statement is properly displayed with account code, everything, I'm able to do anything. Yeah. Now, let's assume that uh, we have started the business with the 10,000 kwacha. How are we going to bring in that money into the account? Okay, we close here. After closing here, we move on to our darling journal again here. Create journal journal there, okay? Then here, I'll put uh, the starting capital there, okay? Starting capital, I'll simply say capital here. Okay, capital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, here I will say, okay, this is cash, okay, which I will introduce to the business one to one. Yeah, if it is dollars, you put dollars, but here if you are using dollars, it means that here you put the correct exchange rate here, okay? Because at the moment, I think for today is 21 kwacha, you put 21 kwacha, but we are not doing that. Everything is just Zambian kwacha. So here, tap, tap, tap. When we come here now, we select again our darling cash book cash book here okay of how much are we the cash book is, is receiving 10,000 kwacha you put it there okay where is it going the other leg goes to reserves i hope we have returned the earning here oh yeah there we are we have so you credit your return the earning there tap 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 okay and then from here you save okay you save there, mm, then cross here. The next thing is to um, post the journal again here. Okay, posting the journal here. Okay, there we are. Then right, post the journal here. Okay, okay, good. Now, actually, the next thing, since we have now capital. Let's see how, what about the balance sheet? How does it look like? Since we have now introduced the capital, we click the balance sheet and you see how it looks like. Yeah, 
uh, now for the balance sheet people slightly bear with me there are some other entries which were already posted there so it might pick it will pick everything from beyond the other months so you want to see that 55 455 they say because it would have combined with the others but i just wanted you to see how it looks like yeah it will be okay once you start it doing it on your own yeah it will be picking there yeah, exactly those figures which you have but this one is for the demonstration purpose but it will help you to understand what goes on there so this one takes is right much much longer about four minutes because it has to go first it has to compile the income statement calculate the profit there then it will go all the accounts to check or to fish out all the balance sheet accounts then once it does that it compile them into one report then from there after summarizing it summarizing it means it want to put the fixed assets separately current assets then you have current liabilities employed capital all those then that's when now it brings it up the report yeah so that's what it's doing that's why it takes a bit of time yeah but anyway it can never take more than five minutes yeah very soon it will be finishing it's just a, uh to the local things it has gone uh 65 percent so very soon it will pop up there yeah so that's the, how simple it is as you can see there we are now oh okay uh this one don't worry about this you see the macro issue that has uh, happened there i think is uh, because of uh, those things which i was talking about yeah now because the liabilities here are new so it's finding nothing here that's why it's bringing this so for example let's see do this for you to understand what i'm talking about we do it like this so um let's see create an account for accruals as well so that you understand maybe for water bills or telephone you have, you have not yet paid now uh to do that let's see go under advanced we need to check the chart of accounts and see if we have an accrual account there mm -hmm. okay so under liabilities do we have anything here uh, like uh, accruals, accruals, accruals. Okay, okay, we can use maybe we need to create an account for accruals so that that space which was uh, showing you there, it, we can use it for accruals. No wonder that's why it was giving us that. But if you have uh, something there, you can put if there is any, nothing, it will carry zero there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now let's create a specific account for accruals here. So how do we create that account? It's very simple. We close here, okay? Then we come and um, uh, advance here, okay? Create accounts, okay? So now here, I will say account code, maybe like this, yeah. If it's not yet used, then yeah, okay? Then here I will say accruals, okay? Yeah. Then here you assign accruals. These are current liabilities. You assign current liabilities and add there. Okay. Now let's assume that because uh, we are creating a balance sheet. Let's assume that uh, now there is a telephone or stocks which we haven't paid somewhere. So we just accrue uh, that liability. So I will still come here. Yeah all right so now here what i'll do here i'll still do this select the same date then here i'll say uh, accrued expense okay if you want we can just do it like that yeah mm -hmm. stationary okay mm -hmm. and then one to one as well here now if you know the the person where you bought this you can query it here now we haven't yet done this i'll come and show you those don't worry about that you will know very soon 
So we come here directly here. So where is our accrual? Yeah, our accrual, not to accrue the salary. Um, accrual, accrual, accruals, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say we have accrued 50 kwacha there. Uh, oh, so it's the other way around. 50 kwacha there, okay, under stationary. Yeah, yeah. So a debit of 50 kwacha, all right? There, I'll say okay, then save, okay. After saving that, then I need to post that journal now. Okay, I'll post it here. Where to post that one? Okay, post the journal here, no problem. Then here, I'll do it like this, okay? All right, uh, uh, post. Post there, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see how our balance sheet now looks like. Okay, right? Okay, mm. preview. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we write a little bit there and you see how things are going to work out. From there, we'll move on. Yeah. Then after this, uh, we will now go into procurement. This is a must check part of the system. Yeah, so that at the end of the day, you might be buying things without paying, but how are you going to be accounting for them? It's important, this thing is also done, okay? So let's wait a little bit for this thing to compile and finish, then from there we move on to the other side of the accounting package, yeah. Uh, after that, we get to prepare, we prepare ourselves for the, what's this, the procurement part. We move on like that. Um, so it's almost finishing there. Yeah, it takes a bit of time because it has to go through so many tables. After that, then it pops up, then we have something. Now, people, you remember we had a hash thing here, okay? Now, because here it was a blank, that's why it was giving us that, okay? Now, you can see we have a proper balance sheet here. If you check, we are here, we have 405, okay? As a profit, coming from where? Profit and loss account. If I go to the profit and loss account, trust me, that's the figure which I'm going to check. You can see there, 10,455, here also 10,455. So this is the way how you keep your, your books. You keep your books nicely like this, okay? Then at the end of the day, if you want, you can even print this, okay? Then if you want to get a loan to the bank, this is what you print and give them to say, these are my accounts. You print this together with the 12 balance and the, uh, your income statement. Now. Check this one, mark this one, 405, write it somewhere. We need to go and check our income statement and see what happens from there, okay? <clears throat> now, our income statement also, let's check here and see what has happened here, right? So, okay, from 1st November up to 1st November here, right? Preview here, okay? Right, so, it's so again compiling as usual, it takes a bit of time. After that, we have our income statement. Remember, what we want to see is uh, 405. Once we see the 405 there, then we know that, okay, everything is okay for us. Then from there, we move on. We go to procurement. After procurement, then I'll walk you through on the payroll part. Yeah, just in case you might want to run payroll. So there, I won't go in detail for payroll because it's straightforward anyway, yeah. If you want to use it, then, yeah, there will be another session for that, then we see how we can move on. Otherwise, this is a straightforward package. We don't have to really worry about it, yeah. <clears throat> have you seen this 405? Yeah, 
So here it added 50 kwacha plus 45, 95. So you have this. Remember the 405 which was appearing in the balance sheet? This is where it's coming from. That's the reason why it takes a bit of time because it has to go through all these things and compile these reports. So you have everything there. You can do anything. This is the way how you keep your finances. So now let's see, run through now the procurement because this side now we are okay. I think we are happy about it. What if you want to buy um, some, uh, what can I say? You are buying uh, diesel. Or if you are in weddings, you are, wed you are buying some wedding materials. Yeah. Then to do that, you need to create a supplier data. Okay. Let's say we are buying supplier data from uh, Charles uh, and uh, company. Okay. Yeah. Address, you say maybe this one is here from Rusaka, okay, Rusaka here, okay, Zambia, mm. yeah, if you know the T-pin, you can add the T-pin, if you don't know, just leave it there, just add there, then exit here, all right, now, people, when you are buying things on credit, always use a purchase order, send a purchase order, you create a purchase order here, so you come here, okay, so now uh, let, me, let me sorry 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 let's close this one first okay we are saying you want to buy um some items okay that's now those are stock items which you are buying diesel because it doesn't mean that you use the diesel the the whole drum you use it one time no some will remain there okay if it's some waiting materials some will remain there, they will be used for some other time. So what you do is you come here under create a branch here. You are going to say, okay, here, um, add. Okay, so here you simply say stores. You create some mini stores there, okay, so that you'll be putting those things, okay? Yeah, then you now, after you have created the stores, you come under inventory again, then and say you created the codes for those items, okay? So uh, here, I think you are familiar with this. This is now where it matters most. I'll say petrol, maybe. Okay, then uh, the stock hold maybe is that. Then here, the warehouse, remember we, we created the stores, our sign stores. If you want to put the reorder level, you can put the reorder level because these are stock items now, but I'm not putting anything. I'll simply say, okay. Now, Maybe uh, here I have also some wedding dress. Wedding, eh? wedding dress, eh? Dresses, oh. uh, whatever it is anyway. Yeah, if there's a problem with the spelling, you can come back and edit that one. That's not a problem. So 5001 like that, okay? Then now, again, these are stock items as well, assigning stores, so add. Remember, these stock items, even if you go to the invoice, they will not appear because these are not for sale. Only when you take, you will declare them under prices, can they appear there. But the fact that we are not declaring in that site, they can't appear there, only the selling part, they can't. So you close here. Now, here, what you need to do is under purchases, you create a purchase order here, okay? Purchase order, then you, you select here, purchase order here, no problem. Then here, you select the company where you are buying those materials and the date, which is today's date, okay? Then control area, maybe you can say uh, production, whatever it is, production here, the area where they will be used. Now their currency, if it is Zambian Quarter ZMW, delivery, maybe you might say soon. Yeah. Uh, notes, you may say credit period. Credit period. You agree? Maybe it's 30 days. You put 30 days there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's 
quotation, you put the quotation number, maybe that's the quotation number there you put there. Now, here, use, okay, if you want, you can drag this uh, thing. Yeah, it's, it, you saw that it's, the box becomes slightly big. So, you select here, okay, first we select Petro, we are ordering Petro from these guys. Okay, now which warehouse, no wonder is complaining where this Petro is going to go. It's not a service stores, okay. So that's the petrol. How many? Maybe 500 liters. A tea, how much? 15 kwacha. Uh -uh, it's too expensive. 9.5 per liter. Okay. All right. Maybe here we have also these wedding dresses. Okay. Where are they going to go? They will go under stores. At how much? Uh, maybe they are. 20 which we are ordering at maybe one is going at 450 okay all right that's it then we can save our order here save our order here okay if you want to recall that order we can record it could record it here okay it comes back there and we continue working on it yeah if we don't really if we are satisfied with it we can save it it goes there now let's assume that we have received now these items you go under inventory now create a GRN here this is where my friend one of my friend was making a mistake trying to create a sales invoice using the purchase mode no this one is only for procurement don't use this one if you are creating a sales invoice go under sales yeah so follow what we are doing we are this is pure pure procurement so Let's say we have received these items today. So you come here and select it. This is the order number, okay? Yeah, then currency is one to one again. Then the supplier, you select the supplier here. Yeah, the moment you select the supplier, it will bring and uh, go. It means that it has copied the order to the GRIN. So now, if you want to edit that, you simply come here and recall it so that you you can edit you can see this is the same stuff which was appearing under the purchase order so if you are not changing anything there well and good yeah then you simply say um save okay after saving the next thing which you need to do is to post the grn here you need to under inventory you go under GRN post here, okay? Or if you want, if you before posting, maybe you want to print the GRN, you can print the GRN where? Here, okay? Print your GRN so that you have a copy on your file, okay? Yeah, whatever it is, yes, yeah, for maybe your auditors might say, uh, what is this? Yeah, you can have it printed here so that yeah, you can have a GRN as you can see. Mm, there is your jar and everything is analyzed there. There is no big deal about it. Yeah, and the total there, yeah, everything. It writes also in Kwacha there. All these things that uh, are there. Okay. It's a memorandum anyway. This it looks like that, but at least it gives you what it is. So, okay, you can close it there after printing it. Then from here, what you need to do is to go and post that jar in here. Okay so that it goes to the accounts. Remember when you create a GRN, it means that now what you have done is you have created this, uh, there are two accounts which are involved, the stock account and the GRN suspense awaiting for the invoice. Okay, so now for you to understand what I'm talking about, see what has, what has happened here. If you check under uh, 12 branch here, yeah, let's see what has happened here, okay? So that we are moving on the same level together. Preview here, right? Mm. Okay, preview. Right, 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 right. You see, compiling again, it takes a bit of time, but very soon it will finish. And then we move on to the other thing once we post that i think it will end there yeah then the next session it will be uh -huh, there we are as you can see it has created now the grin suspense then the stock value is also seated there you see these amounts they are the same 
okay? A deputy there under stock and a credit under GRI assessments waiting for the invoices. All right, yeah. So it's still balancing here. Now let's assume that the invoice has arrived, okay? We'll go there under purchases again and uh, input supplier invoice. This is where people make a mistake. They, will, they think that, okay, by doing that, they are creating a sales invoice. You are not creating a sales invoice. What's this idea to ask you for a GRIN uh, number? It doesn't work that way. Yeah. These are procurement, so tax invoice there. Then here you select the supplier. The moment you select the supplier, it will copy from the GRIN there and it brings and go away. So to record it, you record it, record it here if you want to change anything there. Maybe VAT is applicable, you can put your VAT there. Yeah, you see, it has come. So we are not changing anything. So you just save it the way it is, okay? And exit here. There is literally nothing to do. These are straightforward. Everything automated. You don't have to worry for anything. So now, uh, post our purchases. We need to authorize our purchases there, okay? After authorization, here I'm matching it with the GRN as well. Then I'll say post here, post here, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, successful. So I'll say close here, all right. Now, if you qu query the total balance here, um, okay, maybe let me query this one for the whole, eh? although for the whole, eh? okay, fine. Let's see what happens, let's see. We are pairing that one for the whole eh? and you see how it has picked these entries. Yeah. And this is one entry which was not properly done. Yes, it will be, it will give us some issues, but I don't think so. You see what happens from there. We move on then from there. I think that's where we end everything here. Or maybe the next thing which I'll do is just to query the balance sheet so that you see how our balance sheet looks like. Okay, so as you can see, mm. okay, okay, the the total balance is still balancing here. There's no issue here. We have everything there. Yeah. Now, uh, since we are still balancing here, let's um, uh, do one thing here. Yeah? Let me double check uh, a few things here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. So the next thing which we need to do is, let's see our 